previously on Biodrex Sailing. We sailed to St. Vincent and the Grenadines with family aboard and went directly to the Tobago Keys, which have beautiful turquoise waters. In the marine park, there is abundant wildlife that include lots of turtles and rays. In this video, we sail back towards St. Vincent with an overnight stop in Beckway and then a stay at La Blue Lagoon Marina. We had a chance to visit the beautiful Montreal Gardens, which is a tropical paradise in the middle of the island of St. Vincent. Enjoy this video. So we're back sailing again. This time uh, heading back, heading back uh, from the Grenadines to St. Vincent. So we can do our PCR checkout and get our family back to St. Lucia to take their flight. We would have really liked to stay. This is such a beautiful area. Those noises are the sails being adjusted. heard someone calling Biotrek on the VHF. in the bay. We had a drink at the floating bar. And then headed across the bay for dinner, which was a fabulous dinner. Kara asked, how do you like the grenadines? I like it very much. What about you? Oh, j'adore les couleurs, les paysages, les gens sont charmants. Surtout nous autres. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Des grosses vagues qui donnent mal au cœur, des fois. <laughs> On n'a pas vu de grosses vagues. En tout cas, <rire> et de la belle plage, de la belle eau, puis beaucoup de plaisir. Merci beaucoup. J'ai pas. On avait deux pas. C'est pas fini encore. On va voir saint Lucie après. Oh, fish big. Oh, so those are big fish. Yes. Those are our two orders, and look so fresh. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah. Hey, why are you coming back now then? We're not in a rush, we're enjoying our drinks. Okay. Okay, you do what and, you got. And what's your name? They call me Beach. Bajan. Bajan's Bajan from Barbados. Oh really? You're not yeah. from here? No, I'm from here, but I was speaking like a Bajan at that time when I came back. Ah, oh. okay. Yes, so you but okay? You're the master chef. Well, I'm one of those. After dinner, we headed back to the boat, and there was a beautiful view of the moon rising over the restaurant where we had just eaten. The next day, we headed back to St. Vincent, Lulucu Marina, where we completed the checkout procedures. Meno and I headed off to the botanical gardens called the Montreal Gardens. Fabulously beautiful. And the taxi driver who drove us there, Desmond, was full of information, and we stopped to enjoy the beautiful views along the way. We are looking at the Mesopotamia Valley, better known as the breadbasket of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, as it's the largest concentration of farming on the island. Three rivers run through the valley, and 40% of the country's water supply comes from this forest. It's beautiful. It is such, said, it's such nice houses there too. Oh, beautiful houses everywhere. It is said that it was an ancient volcano, but there is no historic records to verify. It uh -huh. just, just assume uh -huh. because of its location. Yes. Now, is that fog we're seeing or is yes, that ocean? That, no, that's ocean, but also there's some clouds. Yes. Yeah, there's some clouds. That's the Atlantic Ocean. And you were saying that um, independence was in 1979 79, yes. and after that the banks helped people buy oh, houses? Yes, they give 90% financing. Which is why everybody has beautiful houses, beautiful houses and they're yes. so well taken care of. Yeah, oh, very much, yes. And a lot of the young people, they find jobs on cruise ships. Most of them send their money home within five years, build a nice house. Right. <laughs> also, the educational system on the island is among the best in the world. Every child has access to universal secondary education. No matter how poor the parents, once the child is qualified for university, the government help. And survey shows that more than 40% of the students go on to university. Wow, that's high. Yeah. But the problem is, when they come back, not enough jobs. <laughs> well, as you said, a lot of them will work overseas and then come yeah, home to yeah. retire. E even with their bachelor's from university, a lot of them go on cruise ships. And within five years, they feel a nice and still jobs. <laughs> yes. So those who find jobs here, um, they have to go at least masters in order to stay competitive. Okay. Yes, they wow. can't settle for a bachelor's. Yeah. I have a daughter that works at the airport. At the airport? Yeah, but huh? she also went to university. Ah. She already did her master's. And now she's working on the doctorate. <laughs> <laughs> the Montreal Gardens are at the top of the valley above the Mesopotamia Agricultural Valley. The lush gardens are designed with winding paths, flower beds made of coconut husks, and streams run through the land and there are sheltered huts to take refuge when it's raining hard. It rained during our visit to Montreal Gardens, and the rain just seemed to add to the tropical beauty of these gardens. Wow. These are ginger lilies. These are the red, they have the white. Yes. They had white, I saw one with the white flowers. And the pink, they have the pink. The ginger, the real ginger, the plant is identical, only that it doesn't come so big and doesn't bear the flower. Okay. So that's why they call it ginger lily. And look at the uh, epiphytes there. Oh, that's, you have a nice one over there with the lizard. You see the lizard over there? <laughs> Okay, it's a changed color. Angel trumpet. Maybe on the way down you might see some already open. Yes. Oh, angel oh. trumpet. Oh my angel goodness, trumpet. look at well, that. On the way down you should see some already. Already open. Angel trumpet. Angel trumpet. 
they have pink and they have white. Ah, oh, it's blue. Wow. Yeah. Where, where? Let, you can see it. So let, let, <laughs> let's see. You can see it. Oh, oui. oh, oui. <laughs> you see it? I do see it. I'm going to try to. Desmond was not only a taxi driver, but an excellent tour guide. Next, one of the gardeners showed us making charcoal. Pack them like this, and then you chuck bush on top of it, and after bush you chuck sand on top of it, and then you lighten it from underneath there. Okay, and, and then that's when it finish burn, you get this. And this go in a cold pot. You light this and you cook food with this. You do barbecue with this. So you're making this charcoal and you sell it? Yeah. Yeah. And the next one I know start the next one up there. And that's another charcoal pit that's being made right there. And we can see this one. This one. How they send the roots from the top. Yeah. <laughs> so they must be very strong down there because lots of roots to send. For more views of Montreal Gardens, stay till the end of the video. But for now, we're going to return to the boat at Blue Lagoon. So Desmond, what was the national flower called again? Exora. Exora. Okay, yes, the, that Exura. orange one we just saw. And they have different colors. And the uh, it's Harum was the original name, name of the island. Name of the place. Yes, the original name. Meaning Land of the Blessed. Land of the Blessed. The indigenous people or the Caribs, they call it Harum. When Columbus, Christopher Columbus came here in 1499, he called it St. Vincent. He said that he arrived on St. Vincent's Day. That's what he told us. So this little village right here is called Peruvian Vale. I don't know what's the relationship with Peru, but this is the name, Peruvian Vale. Back at the boat, we went out to a local restaurant for dinner. Okay, so the dinner is taking a long time, so we, we had to order we had to order some more drinks. I, oh, that's Regina. She's our waitress in this amazing little restaurant in Blue Lagoon. Four shells. Four shells. And. Our drinks. It's not Campari. It's the second one. It's the second one. It's Sparrow, Sparrow rum, which is a local rum, and I, we can attest to the fact that it's a good rum. It's the pirate, you say. The pirate called yeah. Sparrow. You know, you know the movie. Of course. Of course it is. Jack Sparrow. Yeah. yeah. Then I asked Shock what he thought about sailing, and he said, wow, it's a lot of work. Sails up, sails down, pull this rope, pull that, and not to mention all the maintenance. Même quand tu fais rien, là, juste travailler dessus, lever les voiles, baisse les voiles, roule les voiles, rentre les cordes, serre les cordes, tight here, tight there, tight... Ah! C'est beaucoup. C'est ça. Et en plus de ça, ben, il faut naviguer. T'aimes ça ou t'aimes pas ça? J'aime ça. Mais je le ferai pas. Mais je le ferai pas. C'est beaucoup d'ouvrage. Ça, c'est à part l'entretien. Puis à part les, les, les petits travaux. Là, Mais la navigation, t'assurer que tu euh, prends pas bon les roches. Les mains. Uh -huh. Tu regardes le fond, les mains. Tu vois ce que ça monte, ça descend. Tu fais attention à ce que tu as navigué pour faire. 
Nej. Ja, det är så att det står. Ja. Men hur går det där? Det är en stor tempest. Oj, Jim Sam. Det är en stor tempest. Det är en stor tempest. Det är en stor tempest. No snake here. There is no snake around here. We have three types of snakes. Black snake, white snake, Congo snake. They are small, harmless, and protected under the Wildlife Convention. Only one dangerous species on the island. Can you make a guess? Humans. Humans. <laughs> <laughs> I guess right. Yes, guess. Wow, ça a l'air beau partout, partout. Wow. So this one we call angel trumpet. Maybe on the way down you might see some radio fans. is just a call away you don't have to be afraid you don't have to be afraid i'll keep you safe okay. all night and day i'll be where you want to be yes i'll be where you want to be Aside from where it all began, you're more than everything. You're more than everything to me. Make me a promise, tell me you love me, and that you'll never shut me out, out, out. To me, you're a goddess. They didn't show you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, oui, pour le fuck. 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 Oh, oui